Okay, so this time we're really doing the actual final part. The real final E. It is the final E. <laughs> well, this time we'll shut up until the end, or at least until the next time we want to yell at people. <laughs> Speaking of yelling at people, we're the bittersweet gamers. I love yelling at villains at the end. <laughs> yelling, screaming, kicking them while they're down, insulting them while dipping a bit into vulgarity while doing it. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's satisfying. Cleanses the soul. Anyway, this is a weird climax. It's very different and very interesting, and I enjoy it very much. And... At the end of the episode, I was gonna say a few more things this time, since I couldn't last time, <laughs> about my idea for Miracle Dongan Rompa 9. Despair's counterattack. I don't know if anything would ever come of it, but I think it's a good enough idea that might be worth extending out a few feelers anyway. So, without further ado, we're the bittersweet gamers, eh, I guess. I already did I already did that. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know, man. Okay. Then I'll change it. Kibo gave us this one chance. Yeah? Poor Kibo. If Kibo is doing what the outside world is telling him, we just have to convince him. Oh! <laughs> so it's time to persuade the outside world by speaking to them directly, eh? Huh. I know we can change the world. We owe it to Kibo to try. I don't know if that's actually possible to do. In fact, I'm 99% positive it's not. I said it's impossible! For fiction to change the real world- The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. <laughs> well done. <gasps> you can even change the world. No, we will change the world. For ourselves and everyone who died. You're going to throw your lives away for those who have died? Better than living on like a cockroach, scurrying around in guilt and self-hatred. Yeah. You fought to survive this killing game. If you die now, it's all over. Yes, the killing game will be over. Thank you for paying attention. At least this one and their participation in it will be. However, we fought to survive the killing game under the context that we had. Yeah. Truth be told, we're, we don't, we're not actually even positive this is real. This could just be the writing. Oh my God, you're right. I hadn't thought about that. Even if we die, it's not the end. Our friends who died gave us their love and we changed because of that. If we can inspire change in others, then that love will live on. That love will tear down the wall between fiction and reality and it will live on forever. I most definitely believe in that, though I don't think I would say it in such a such a naive way. You know, for hundreds of years, King Lear was not put on with the correct ending. Yeah? Uh, you're not familiar with King Lear at all. Not at all. Okay. Uh, it's the most horrible, tragic, depressing thing pretty much ever. Oh. Or at the very least, it's gonna rank. You know, spoilers for something 400 years old, <laughs> right? <laughs> Basically, everybody dies. Everyone makes terrible decisions, and they all pay for them. Everyone messed up, everyone is weak, and everyone falls to the, the conclusions, the consequences of their own foolish actions, which they do realize in the end. So it's a basic tragedy then. <laughs> The Ur tragedy, I suppose. <laughs> it, in, in Shakespeare's lifetime, it was panned because they were like, this is too horrible. You cannot even consider this. It just reminds me of that. That the, the ending is too terrible to even contemplate. Actually, reading King Lear in high school was what made me like Shakespeare. Mm. I'm a sucker for tragedy. That's why I'm going to change the world. As long as I have their love, I will change it. I just don't know if you can, man. Even if this whole story is a lie, I will use that lie to change the world. Th that's right. We're not gonna just be fiction. Shuichi, you can change this world <laughs> because you're Kaito's sidekick. <laughs> All those lives meant something up until now. And it's a shame that they're not here to do this with us now. 
There's no way you can persuade them like that. But I unfortunately believe she's right about this. They all love the killing games. They can't get enough Danganronpa. Heck, even me saying, I have an idea for a fan game. <laughs> doesn't exactly prove her case wrong, does it? Right, right. I'm giving the world what it wants. I won't let hypocrites interfere. I would like to point out that the last nonstop debate didn't have any noise from the audience. Kibo, let me hear the voices of the outside world. And let them hear me. Whoa! This isn't my Danganronpa. I'm a longtime fan. Do you realize how much I've given to this show? I'm gonna be pissed if there isn't a happy ending. Oh, this is Man, badass. This debate is getting wet. I don't like twists like this. This is getting way too meta. This isn't my Danganronpa. I'm a longtime fan. This is really great. Do you realize how much I've given to this show? This I'm gonna be amazing. pissed if there isn't a happy ending. Man, this debate is getting wet. My eyes! I don't like twists like this. This is getting way too meta. I can't meta. see! Yeah! This isn't my Danganronpa. I'm a longtime fan. Do you realize how much I've given to this show? I'm gonna be... No way fiction can change the world, lol. <laughs> fiction has the power to change reality. I'm not here for a damn lecture. Do you hey, see the time what about Little Miss Assassin's Oh my god. Preachy characters are so annoying. Oh my god, I... Man, I was rooting for the detective. This guy should have died instead of Kaede. Death makes the characters better. Death is the point of Danganronpa. Uh, I'm not uh. here for a damn lecture. Hey, what about Little Miss Assassin's Punishment? Preachy characters are so annoying. Man, I was rooting for the detective. This guy should have died instead of Kaede. Uh. Death makes the characters better. Death is the point of Danganronpa. I'm not here for a damn lecture. Hey, what about Little Miss Assassin's Punishment? Preachy characters are so annoying. I just can't see what, what is where or Man, anything like that. I was rooting for the detective. This guy should have died instead of Kaede. Jesus. Death makes the characters better. Death is like the I can't see the Dungan order because yeah. there's too much visual noise. Lecture. Hey, what about Little Miss... God dang it! Killing games are the best form of entertainment! The killing game is wrong! I won't let you use our lives for entertainment! This hope is versus despair! This is really no speaking despair. to me personally. Hope. Yeah. Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope. Despair! Hope. Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope. Despair! Hope. Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. 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 This is hope. this is despair. great. Despair, hope, despair. This ending sucks. Ah. Hope, hope, despair, despair, hope, hope, despair, despair, hope, hope, despair, despair, hope, hope, despair, despair, hope, hope. The best example of this I've ever hope. seen. Despair, hope, despair. Did you ever see the title in the bottom despair. left? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How despair. long is? Yeah. Hope. Despair. We got despair. plenty of time. Oh, no, I know. Hope. Ah. Despair. Hope. Despair! Despair! Hope! 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 Despair! 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 Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! This ending sucks! Hope! Hope! Despair! Despair! Hope! Hope! Despair! Despair! Hope! Hope! Despair! Despair! Hope! Hope! Despair! Despair! Hope! Hope! Hope versus despair! Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! It keeps changing! I don't know if I can make it! A pointless death because no one voted is the worst ending ever! It's not pointless, our lives are weapons. I don't know if I can do it's another- not pointless. Ah! We're gonna use our lives I don't know to if I can do world. this! Is Danganronpa really gonna end? You can't just end it out of the blue like this! Oh my god! Jesus! We just kill each other already! Hope! 
Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! We want more of the killing game! I need that sweet closure! Well, hopefully there's another season. There's no way they'd let it end like this, I'm right? a longtime fan! Uh, Do you realize how much I've given to the show? Oh no! Death Head makes backwards! Death makes sense! Death the point of versus Death makes sense! 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 I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna do that again! That was so bad it was making me freak out! <sighs> that was really hard! I'm gonna give it one more this go! Oh my god, really live, David! Uh, 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 uh. But I know what I'm... I know what, what I'm c getting into this time. <laughs> okay. Alright! I'm gonna try this again, and I'm just gonna cut to the end. But before I do, I I really didn't realize how harsh he was gonna come down on the fans. Clearly, Kodaka was really irritated by people missing the point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But even I think it's too dangerous to comment too frankly. No way fiction can change the world, lol. Fiction has the power to change reality. I'm not here for a damn lecture. <sighs> Killing games are the best form of entertainment. I won't let you use our lives for entertainment. Hope versus despair. Hope! Despair! Despair! Hope! Hope! Despair! Despair! Hope! Hope! Man, I never realized despair. Despair. how necessary hope. fever time was. Hope versus despair. Until this. Hope. Big one. Despair! Oh. Hope! Despair! 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 Hope! Ah, is this part? Despair! Hope! Hope! Are you doing really good? Despair! I knew it! Probably get it! Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope! No! Despair! This ending sucks! Hope! Hope! Despair! Despair! Hope! Hope! Uh, okay, I think we can make a it. pointless death because no one voted is the worst ending ever. It's not, not pointless. pointless. Our lives are our weapons. It's not pointless. Ah! We're gonna use our lives to change the world. Okay, here we go. Is Dongan Rampa really gonna end? You can't just, just end it out, out of the blue like this. Who cares if they die? They're not real. We must kill each other already. Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! We want more of the killing game. I need that sweet closure. Well, hopefully there's another season. There's no way they'd let it end like this. I'm a lifetime fan. Do you realize how much I've given to the show? Death makes the characters the This is the point of versus despair. Death makes the characters the This is the point of versus despair. Death makes the characters This is the point of versus despair. Okay. Dangan Rampa will never end. Will it? We'll end Dangan Rampa with our own hands. Together, we're gonna end Dangan Rampa. That's amazing. That was. I hated it, but it was brilliant. <laughs> uh. Okay, so like, that's even too spicy for me to touch. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say with our final and only act of gloating. <laughs> only? No, for, until the end. We're not going to gloat okay, anymore, okay, right? Okay, okay. I'll stop you, though, really. You'll have to stop me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Basically, that was a battle against the people who always took a dump on our takes. Wasn't it? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It was pretty cathartic. I can only imagine how much it felt for you. Now, who has correctly identified... <laughs> <laughs> the intent of the creator. Was it us or was it them? I, I would say it was us, yes. Okay. Now, it's true there's such a thing as death of the author. Yeah, absolutely. It's a real thing and mm -hmm. it matters. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that the author didn't have those intentions. Yeah. Uh, I think that most of the time death of the author is correctly invoked on accidents. 
Mm. when they didn't mean for something to say a thing, yeah, but it yeah. said the thing. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Right. But you can say that we're wrong, that our take that, you know, the killing game is bad and that <laughs> murder is wrong was a bad one. And you can say that the take of the creator who, uh, as the series went on, gave us at least the, more of the things that we asked for, a mastermind being mastermindy, uh-huh, uh-huh. more complexity to the plot, mm-hmm. and a more tight construction. Like, that's what we asked for, and that's that's what he did. <laughs> did he did he do the things that the people who were like, I don't like creepy characters, quit lecturing me, I just want to see more, oh, the killer didn't do anything wrong. Did, did he change things in that direction? Did he? <laughs> No? Okay. All right. Maybe you're right and I'm wrong. But I know who agreed with me. That person is the guy who made it. It's not nothing. Right then. What just happened? Kibo? Yeah, that was friggin' weird. That was brilliant. That was... Oh, I agree. That was brilliant. I have never seen something that effective at doing that thing mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. ever. I especially love the hope, despair, hope, despair, hope, despair. You know, I never liked Argument Armament um, because it scrambles my brain, mm-hmm. but that like so intentionally making me, the player, really uncomfortable mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, with all this junk in my face mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you can't see anything. Uh, my God, that was amazing. That That was amazing. I don't ever want to do that again, (laughs) but if it happens at the climax of something great, then it's worth it. Just the the gradual deconstruction of Danganronpa by, I suppose, a man who's tired of it Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. has been a glory to behold. Like I said, it's pointless. The outside world won't let Danganronpa end. Everyone loves Danganronpa. That's reality! Killing Game Entertainment will continue forever! Now then, let's proceed with voting time! And you know, yet again, Motokuma is thrown away. Yep. He just, yet again, doesn't matter and doesn't get a proper send-off. Well, that makes sense in this context, at least. Sure, but one of these days... I know, I would like an actual duel with Motokuma, you know? <laughs> I think hopeful Kibo should vote for despairing Samugi, without a doubt. Because that's what the outside world wants to see. Let's give it everything we've got. Presenting one last voting time. I'm exhausted. <laughs> mm, okay, fine. Oh, it's the normal amount too. I wonder if I can vote for myself. I'm not gonna. Do you want to go through all that again? No. (laughs) No. And if I have to... How curious are you? Well, he wouldn't let us change the Kaito vote. Oh, that's true. That's true. All right, looks like voting is over. Let's hurry and announce the results. I didn't vote. That was the right thing to do, right? You believe that, right? The three of us might be penalized for abstaining to vote, but what's going to happen to Kibo and Sumugi? Guess they won. Guess they won the killing game. If Kibo is controlled by the outside world, he must have voted for Sumugi. Then what about Sumugi? Well, she's got to vote for Kibo, right? If she had cast one vote for Kibo, then it would be a tie, but... Oh, there's no need to worry about that. I didn't vote either. What? Huh. What? I bet she's back to normal. Just as I thought. You wanted Hope to win. That's not it. We're friends, aren't we? There's no way I'd abandon you guys. The the character Tsumugi Shirogane. Yeah. Even if that's a real name, which I assume it isn't, but this character 
was real at least. So if she decided in the end to uh, play her role as the member of the killing game. Friends, you've got no right saying that now. <laughs> I turned over a new leaf. I'm not lying, it's the truth. So since the four of us abstained from voting, only Kibo's vote counts. No matter who he voted for, the only one who survives is Kibo. So in other words, the winner is Hope. Well, we haven't seen the vote yet. Yeah, yeah. But if it is, it is. But Kibo said earlier that he'd sacrifice himself and take the punishment, right? So we're going to punish him. He'll be participating in the next killing game. Hold it. Why are you punishing Kibo? If Kibo survives, then there's no need for him to be sacrificed. It doesn't work like that. He needs to follow through on his words. That's not fair! Are you twisting the rules again? I hate to say it, I said it a couple episodes ago, at least the real Junko was better than this. She did follow her own rules, even if she did set them up in her favor. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I feel like I've just like been running. Man, like I said, that one was so intense it was affecting me negatively. <sighs> Uh. It's fine, because this is all fiction. Maybe it's a bit forced, but that's fiction for you, right? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Well, since I didn't vote, I'll be killed with you guys. But I'll accept my death. If you guys are willing to die to stop the killing game, I'll die to continue it. Even if it's just fiction, I gave my life to make it! Huh. I've given my life to Danganronpa! Well, don't you feel so proud of yourself? I mean, so did Kodaka, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is what he's saying about it, I, I mean, I... <laughs> like, I don't... <laughs> we didn't... We didn't go that far! <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like the idea of making a fan game. <laughs> huh. And how about this for the next plotline? Hope has won, but the lone survivor, Kibo, remains trapped. Now he'll challenge the killing game anew. Will he be able to grasp true hope? That's a really lame plot. I mean, it might actually be different, but the way that it'll get structured. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Meh. Don Gun from Pub 54, a new hope. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess so. A new key bowl. <laughs> yeah, an ending like that can work, right? What? This is the worst possible ending. You're discussing it on air with the audience. Right? They're not going to approve of that. But this is bad. At this rate, our deaths will be meaningless. They won't be. They won't be. Refusing to choose the lesser of two evils at the very least means that you did not choose evil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and even if it goes on, maybe other people will make the same choice. And if enough people make the same choice enough... Well, we already know the outcome, but we should follow protocol. Monokuma, please tell us the results. Okay, then let's begin! I would have liked to have done a debate scrum. <laughs> what, us versus the audience? Yeah. Or like us versus Tsumugi and like a bunch of different her in costumes? Different yeah, costumes? That'd, that'd be, be pretty excellent. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Who will win? Hope or despair? Ugh. Ugh. I just have no energy left. <laughs> Thought so. Get decimated! Huh. Uh. 
see how well he did on the. I uh, thought so. Thought it was, thought it was pretty good. Uh, uh, on the retry that is. Uh, oh my god. Uh. What? <laughs> Why? All five people abstained from voting? What did you say? What's going on? Didn't Kibo vote? <laughs> uh, I'm relieved. It, it can't be. Huh? Why? What is this? Okay. The world has changed. Because in the end, this fictional meta world is still fictional. And I don't mean the one we're in, <laughs> but the real one in the one we're in. That means that the writer can actually make it change people's minds. Yeah! Because in the real world, it wouldn't. You can't really change anybody's mind. Most people don't really want to hear it. A person has to be willing and open to the prospect of having their mind changed. As far as the topic of changing your mind has been studied, literally nobody is e nobody's mind has ever changed in an argument unless there is like a super key fact mm -hmm. that they did not know mm -hmm. and are quickly persuaded that the fact is real. Mm -hmm. that, that can change people's minds, but that almost never happens. The way that people's minds change is by being exposed to an opposing argument and a different point of view over time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and thinking about it on their own yeah. terms. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so the more insular you are, the, the fewer opposing viewpoints you're ever exposed to, the more likely that you're just going to go along with the viewpoints of others or, or the one that you already have. Yep, 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 yep. You'll never be convinced by any one aha moment, but, but over time you might be like, you know, maybe this argument that I couldn't defeat after thinking about it in my head or kept remembering every time I see the thingy uh -huh, uh -huh. and the news pop up, eventually it kind of causes somebody to be like, eh, you know, I suppose so. It, it's quite fascinating. Because this would never happen. <laughs> what? Huh? That's true. If Kibo refused to vote, that means the world has changed. After 53 seasons, nobody wants any more. Just give it a rest and come up with something new. Like Nongondonpa or something. Just, just something else. It means the audience chose not to vote as well. That's it. They rejected this killing game. What is that? What? That's ridiculous. <laughs> it serves you. That's what you get for breaking the rules like that! Why? Uh, hold on! Is that really okay? Dangan Ropa is going to end? The killing game full of tense standoffs and backstabbings among friends? Stop! It's just going to abruptly end with season 53? Is that really okay? There is nothing abrupt about season 53! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you understand? Simpsons is on its 72nd season by now. No! <laughs> Let them die! <laughs> yeah, maybe a bunch of people are like, uh, you know, this isn't really what I tuned in for anyway. <laughs> Their apathy is a double-edged sword. I think I'll go watch 25 again. <laughs> <laughs> no. Your words can't reach them anymore. They're convinced this season is over <laughs> and have moved on to doing something else. You didn't think that you had their eyes forever, did you? That's it. I knew we should have had VTubers this season. <laughs> you never appreciated us. And it looks like you didn't appreciate the power of fiction. Oh my god, David! He's not talking to Tsumugi! I know he's not talking to Tsumugi, 
and it's too spicy for even me to say. I'm not willing to actually go into this in any more detail than I already have. Oh my god! I already said I'm done with the gloating. I... <laughs> Ah, uh, like I said, stab you in the eye, man. Stab you in the eye. If the creator stabs you in the eye, then you know he's honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. he's not lying to you. No one wants you anymore. No one wants to hear your sick, twisted stories anymore. No one wants you to give us money anymore. <laughs> Bite your drop. It's over. This is it. It's finished. <laughs> it, it really is the end, isn't it? Now you can go to write for some other show. <sighs> so what are we going to do now? I mean, we may as well just all leave, right? I guess. I don't know where we're going to go. Now that it's over, there's no need for any punishments. No, no. <sighs> what a half-assed ending. This is no way to end Danganronpa. Yeah. No, it needs to end with the punishment, at the very least. <laughs> I see. Hey. Now, if we continue to live after this, the choice we made won't really matter. The people will just want another killing game, so... That's true. So the only way we can stop this killing game is to kill ourselves. Yeah. Got it! So, so, so let's just get it over with! Aww. It's going to end with everyone being annihilated? i never expecting an ending like that, so I don't have a punishment ready. Yeah! So... I'll just leave it to Kibo. Yes. All right, I'll do it. Huh. I'll be the one who ends this killing game. Wonder what he's gonna do? Blow everything up? <laughs> Again, it comes back to him shooting his beam cannon at everything. No, it's a rocket launcher! <laughs> Never mind, it doesn't shoot rockets! I'll bring this fiction to an end. It's the will of the outside world. Yep, here we go. Destroy this entire fictional world and end the killing game. That is what the outside world wants. Probably not. <laughs> I worked hard to keep this going for 53 seasons and now it's all over. How old are you? How old are you? A gentleman never asks a woman her age. Well, that's fine. If this is a world without killing games now... No! I don't want to be a part of it. Huh. Okay. See ya! Yeah, bye! No loss! I have no interest in a world without Danganronpa. Uh, I guess this is it for us. No survivors. It's kind of a bummer. It's okay. But now it's all over. We're the last ones to suffer from the killing games. Okay. Come on, everyone. We should be proud. We were able to change the world in the end and torch our own reputations along with it. <laughs> because if this is all just fiction, then everything we've achieved up till now might be a lie. He's not talking to Maki. <laughs> it's Kodaka saying, if I was misinterpreted this badly, then maybe I, everything that I had achieved wasn't worth it. Right. But those lies, they changed the world. Even if we are just fictional characters someone made up. That's it. We were able to change the world. All right. You're right. I feel the same way. My plan was such a flawless copy, it even failed right at the end. So I should be able to hold my head up high. As a cosplay cat criminal, right? 
cosplay cat criminal? Okay, whatever, whatever. I mean, copycat criminal. Yeah. I get it. Huh? A cosplay <laughs> cat criminal? Everyone! Very well. Let's begin. Or rather, let's end this. This is the will of the outside world. Huh. Certainly didn't see this coming, that's for sure. Yeah. The recycling footage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not even any nasty quips from Moto Kuma. Is he really gonna go through with it? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> oh! Keep it. And now we're breaking into a new world. And it has the same kind of ending, it's like, strangely ambiguous, the idea of opening up into the real world that... Oh, this is cute. ...that the uh, first game did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because this game does mirror the first one quite a lot. Uh, obviously on purpose. We know this isn't their real names. Yeah! Because of that Shuichi, my name is Burp, 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 Burp. And this is even being being displayed kind of like a, a sort of standard TV show ending. Yeah. You know, where you get like the kind of smaller screen on the left kind of replaying different moments from the whole thing as it shows like the cast and staff over on the over to the right as it goes through the credits. Man one, man two, woman, stuff like that. <laughs> Someone left the audience. Okay, this was this was brilliant. Um, much more aggressive <laughs> than I ever expected. Yeah. I I cannot believe how aggressively angry Kodaka Kazutaka was. Man was coming for scalps. Like I I actually feel slightly guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I've been saying the stuff I've said, and I don't take back anything I said, but even I do think he did go too far, like with that last argument armament. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like a no mercy, no mercy to, to his fans. You know, a way that I, I looked at it was that if the typically if the writer is calling out the fans if you're not doing the thing that he was calling out well then why why would you be upset by it yeah yeah exactly and i i feel like that's correct however you know you know in this game he actually went i think too far <laughs> and probably started calling out even the people who weren't doing anything mm. Or at least was way too aggressive, more more so than even I'm comfortable with. Well, uh, so I guess we're done. <laughs> uh, clearly, we're going to do the the FTEs. Yep, 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 yep. Um, 
I don't know how much they'll matter. It, that's yeah, yeah. Kind of I mean, sad, I guess. People have been gradually leaving and like waving as they as the thing has gone on. <laughs> I've just been watching the credits, which is actually even what I do when I'm in a movie theater. I'm wondering. <laughs> Here it comes. Uh, I'm wondering if perhaps that. Ah, oh, he didn't spit out the camera. Don't worry about it. Go okay. on. I'm wondering how if if there's a degree of uh, like maybe there's going to be a hint of who they were in the FTEs that maybe doesn't quite mesh with the persona they have, and maybe yeah. that's what we need to look for. Yeah, maybe so. I really want to see them. Mm -hmm. uh, we are gonna take. Just a brief break mm -hmm. before we come back with them. Yep. Um, we're going to do all of them. Yeah. So since they all are full length and have a Kaede one or two as well, mm -hmm. it might, might take us a while to do them. Mm. Uh, you know, no, I'm definitely going to talk about my idea just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But we're, we we just weren't concerned. To, we weren't convinced the game was over yet. Here we go. Well, we, there's usually a scene after the credits. Yeah. And that's something else to say too. No. Oh, maybe not a scene. And now Team Dongon Rompa is like, you know, we love you all, right? <laughs> and it and it leans in to to give you a hug and then slips a knife in between your ribs. <laughs> stab. It began with the stab, it'll end with the stab. Well, how are we supposed to say anything after that? I know, right? I have to end now that you said that it began with the stab, it ends with the stab. Stab even came from... Yeah, the first Don Gun Rumpa. Huh. We didn't really do it this time around. It just didn't seem natural. Yeah, yeah. Got to got to move on instead of recycle all the old hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to come up with new material, you know. Uh, you know, maybe we didn't. Well, I guess I'm gonna see what happens when I hit the button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and just like the first game. The ending is very ambiguous. Yeah. It seems as though Kibo did not actually kill them. Yeah. And then... Goodbye, studio audience. And then he blew himself up so they could get out. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't save the game. Huh. I can't hit any buttons. What? Really? Yeah. Oh, here we go! What? What happened? I wasn't looking! Are you okay? I see. Yeah, somehow. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sort of stuck here. Someone help me out! <laughs> Himiko, careful. Yeah, I'm safe. <laughs> And they finally destroyed this stupid place and everything that it stood for. We made it. Hey, how were we saved? Why are we still alive? Uh, yeah, why are we alive? I wonder... The killing game is over. The class trials are over. And the fictional world and our fictional lives are over. So then, where are we? Another fictional world after the fiction has ended? What's left for us here? Uh. Closing ceremony, eh? We were silent for a long while, staring into the other side, where we continued to hope 
and they continued to torture us. The outside world. 53 times, hope moved forward. 53 times, the suffering continued. The world on the other side of the fiction. The real world. So, what do we do now? We didn't think of a plan for what to do after. I thought that was the end of us back there. I mean, yeah, you were all prepared to give your lives. And in any case, how could they ever think of a plan for what to do at the end? You gotta get there first. Yeah. First, yeah. you gotta focus on ending it. But we survived. And that's the truth. Okay. It seems as though we don't really have a choice. We can't stay here anymore. Someone's gonna come in to clean away the set at some point, right? Hey. But I don't get it. Seriously, how are we all still alive? When this world destroyed itself, I thought for sure we would go down with it. You're right. Kibo probably saved us. Hmm. He made sure we didn't die. Why? But why would he do that? There's no point in us escaping to the outside world. We're just fictional characters. Whoever we were, we are not anymore. Did Kibo save us because he was acting on what the outside world wanted? No. Then maybe this is what the outside world wanted. Yeah. For us to live? Okay. That's right. In addition to ending all this, the outside world wanted us to live. AKA the player. Yeah. See, Ever 17. <laughs> I suppose the outside world wanted this lie to become the truth. <laughs> so come on, everyone. Let's head outside with confidence. Remember, the outside world is waiting. <sighs> to the outside world, huh? I wonder what kind of world it is. <sighs> A peaceful world with no fighting and no despair. That's what Tsumugi said, right? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> if she wasn't lying, who knows what we'll find out there other than really evil TV executives. <laughs> it might be a lie. Because. Remember the last thing Tsumugi said? My plan was such a flawless copy, it even failed right at the end. So I should be able to hold my head up high as a cosplay cat criminal, right? In other words, she's saying she's a criminal. Ah, uh, yeah. Hadn't written. If I remember correctly. She said copy. That means she must have been copying someone, right? What? Well, what does that mean? <laughs> what indeed? <laughs> what did you say? What? You don't know? How could I know? But. Ah, well, I have some theories. Perhaps Hope's Peak Academy and the remnants of despair really exist. Maybe Tsumugi was just basing her performance on them. Hey! So Tsumugi lied about this whole world being just fiction? What did you say? What? A surprise ending? <laughs> no. No, I don't really know for sure. She might have been lying when she said copy. Who knows? Who could be lying? Who could be telling the truth? Well, the only way to know is to go out and find out yourself. Hmm. But if she were telling the truth, then it would make sense that that was a lie. What? What do you mean that? I'm so That's... confused. What Tsumugi showed us, the way we were when we first arrived. Huh? Huh? What am I wearing? How nice! 
Mm-hmm. Looking good. Now you look more like Ultimates. Huh? Ultimates? Really? So... Next up, the memory you's all been waiting for. You guys are ready? Hell yeah! Get ready! Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing! Uh, you know, I don't feel like doing it this time. <laughs> you tease! Gotta keep him guessing till the end! I messed up my own gag! <laughs> Killing game? <laughs> Could it be? You mean we were selected? All right. We got picked? Really? All right. <laughs> Whoa, really? I'm selected for it too? But I still don't believe it. I can't believe that any of us would volunteer for this. We forgot everything about our old selves after that first flashback light, didn't we? If I remember correctly... That's what Tsumugi said, but something's been bugging me about that. Are you sure it wasn't bothering you? Ah! Get away, ghost! Get away! <laughs> Even if we were obsessed with this killing game, I... I still can't believe we would participate in it. Yeah! How much of all that was just the story? was just the plot that was written for them. Oh, oh, you're, you're saying, what if all of that was fake? And yeah. They're, and, well, that's kind of what they're saying, is that maybe not, like... Okay, okay, okay. Like, when they appeared and were like, yeah, I've always liked the ultimate detective, I'll even become the blackened, and stuff like that. How do we know that was true? We really don't. Who knows? I just don't believe it. <laughs> no, but I, I don't really have any logic or evidence behind that. What? One of Kaito's hunches, huh? What's the point? Anyway, there's no way for us to check when we all apply to the Academy, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, jeez. What? We can't check? Hmm. So in the end, as long as we're here at least, we still don't know what was true or not. The fictional world ends here, and the real world lies out there. Perhaps just beyond here is the truth. But maybe it isn't. Don't tell me. Maybe it's all still fiction in that world, or... Maybe Danganronpa still continues in that world, or... Or maybe the outside world is the same as this world. It might be a world filled with lies. Hmm. Well, if we can get out from here, we'll know for sure. Will we? But... Yeah, but... I feel like... <laughs> just like with hope and despair, there's not too much meaning in truth and lies. Yeah? Well, what do you mean? Hmm. I mean that... Even if something is a lie, even if it's fiction... Remember, if it has the power to change the world, then it must contain some kind of truth. What were we saying earlier? Right. I figured the game would say it itself, and <laughs> I, I'm not really that good at articulating the super reality of fiction anyway. Aren't we proof of that? In this fictional world, we overcame all these fictional struggles. But those things changed us, and we were able to change the world. So it doesn't really matter where the truth ends and where the lies begin. If lies can change the world just as well as the truth can... I don't know about that. Yeah. Then lies are just another way of telling the truth. I'm afraid you lost me there, Chief. <laughs> I understand what you're trying to get at, but... Some lies can lead the world to hope. Some truths can lead the world to despair. So I don't think anyone can really say which is more right in the end. I don't agree with that in the slightest. I appreciate the ultra despair girl shots, though. Yeah, yeah. 
I guess it's not important whether it's a truth or lie, just what it needs to. I I cannot agree with that in uh, yeah, any way, yeah, shape, or form. I cannot agree with that. Okay. Yeah. That's, unfortunately, <laughs> what I believe. We stand with one foot in fiction and one foot in reality. I'm fine with this. Yeah, I don't... If he was saying, like, fiction instead of lies, that would be different, you know? I mean, I'm not saying it's always wrong, but I don't accept that being lied to for my own good is acceptable. Yeah. I am sorry. I do not. And I will not. Then we need to see for ourselves whether this fictional world has changed the outside world and what we can do from this point on. You're right. We can't stay in this fictional world forever. It's already over. We gotta take all the experience we earned in this world and go on to the next. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Let's go. We'll see what this world gained and what it lost and all the rest. Let's find out together. They'll be fine because they're celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere they go, it'll be really easy for people to find people who know who they are and find fans and supporters, etc., yeah. etc. Et so, to the other side of this world, to the other side of fiction, let's find out together. It's what we could accomplish. Go into the light. The story lives on. I'm sure, even now, even on the other side, it lives on there as well. And thus, the story lives on, which is kind of repetitive. But! <laughs> You'd think Kiva would be considered enough to make the hole a little easier to get through. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time. Was this lie able to change something? Was this untruth able to change someone? Was this lie able to change the world? If it was able to change even the smallest thing, even the smallest thing, then the story isn't over. Yeah, I'd... I'm big on the power of fiction, but uh, not not the weird... Yeah, that got a little weird at the end. Weird lie stuff. But... As expected of the guy who did the thing about hope and despair. Oh, uh, yeah. Too bad it really wasn't about lies and belief. Right? Oh, is this that, uh, like that RPG dungeon yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, You gotta go through talent plan to build your characters, and then once they're built up, you run through the dungeon. And what's talent plan? Uh, it's kind of a board gamey thing where you move the character, like, kind of like Mario Party, and in so doing, you increase their stats and things of that nature. Okay, and what about... And how do salmon we... mode is the FTE thing. Oh, okay, okay. Well, at this point, since we're going to continue with the series, because we have to go through the FTEs, right. um, I suppose we'll sit on some of the other aspects of it mm -hmm. before talking about them. But I do want to talk about two things. Number one, um, I understand that a big point of contention in this is that by making the other games quote unquote fictional, that it means that they didn't matter. Of course, you're welcome to believe whatever you like for whatever reason you like, and you're welcome to get as angry as you like at the argument I'm about to make. <laughs> but I don't. Because you probably are. Yeah, I don't think that actually holds much water. Um, essentially, what I mean is, it was already not real. Yeah, it was fiction to begin with. In the context of Dongan Rompa, the the continuity of Dongan Rompa one, two, three, Ultra Despair Girls. I did that out of order. Um. <laughs> It's all real. Yeah. And it's a living continuity. 
Someone can make a fan game. Maybe at some point someone will make an official game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe there have already even been like random little party games or something in Japan, perhaps. And those are going to be in that continuity, mm -hmm. not this continuity. Right. So nothing changed, did it? Uh, there's an anime series, Make Fun of Me If You Like, called Gundam Build Fighters. Yes, it's Gundam. Uh, there's there's like four build series. In the Gundam Build series, Gundam is an anime. And the people buy Gunpla, like the models. And play with the Gunpla. I mean, it's awesome, too. Oh, yeah, like actual <laughs> combat. Like they can control the Gunpla and everything, and it's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's a sports anime. And I, I highly recommend the Build series... Even for non-Gundam fans, uh, I know that Build Divers Re-Rise was able to get a bunch of non-Gundam fans to be like, hey, maybe Gundam's pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All In those Build series, Gundam is an anime and people like it. Yeah. In the real world, uh, there's a couple life-size Gundam statues. Those are in the Build series. People visit them there because they're statues. They're not mobile suits. They're statues. Gun Gundam's a toy commercial. Gundam's always been a toy commercial. It's been a toy commercial for nearly 45 years. And it's a really good toy commercial. Gundam isn't devalued by not being real in Build Fighters. The characters in Build Fighters love Gundam. They love Gundam a lot. They quote Gundam. People dress up like Gundam <laughs> characters. Yeah. A character is asked by an outsider, like a non-Gundam fan who doesn't participate in in like the gunpla battles. Mm -hmm. How can you all take this so seriously, even though it's a game? And he responds, we all take it seriously because it's a game. So what's the difference? Are you unable to take the game seriously now because Junko and Oshima said you couldn't? Why are you letting her determine how you engage with your fiction? Isn't that falling for the mastermind's ploy? Isn't that her warping the real world with despair? You don't have to like it, but Danganronpa is just as real and living a continuity as you want it to be and isn't looked down upon itself. If you don't like Danganronpa V3, well, it's in its own continuity, probably. Uh, they, they were never actually clear. I understand that. Well, during an interview, as I understand it, Kodaka did say it's a different effing world. Yeah, it's an alternate timeline. So just ignore that timeline. In the world of Gundam Build Fighters, Gundam is an anime. In the world of Gundam, Gundam Build Fighters doesn't exist. <laughs> so if you love Danganronpa, but you don't like this game, that's fine. But this game isn't in the same continuity as Danganronpa 2. Yeah. Seems simple enough to me. And if you try to attack the guy about us, attack us or whatever, it'll just piss us off and we'll move on with our lives. Yeah. But attacking Kodaka is kind of pointless. <laughs> I believe he already... I think he's made his feelings fairly clear. Yeah, that's like... You're, that if, if you go after him, that's like exactly what he was upset about and exactly what he said you were doing. You're just proving him right. So if you really hate this and are frustrated with Kodaka about it, then don't attack him. <laughs> anyway, you are, of course, as always, entitled to your own opinion for whatever reason you want. And so are we. And I'm, it's not required that I change my opinion so that our audience will like it more. I'd probably have more money if we did, but we Well, didn't. you know. <laughs> so, as for Miracle Danganronpa 9. <laughs> I've been waiting for this the entire session. Despair's counterattack. Oh, you've heard it anyway. Yes, but I want to hear you talk to the fans about it. Um, well, I'm not going to say everything. I told you the end. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm actually serious about working on it, but if there is any response... <laughs> <laughs> to people who might be able to create assets, then maybe I will. At the very least, I might write it because I think it's a really interesting idea. Mm -hmm. Essentially, what I came up with, because of the title and the font mm -hmm. and for, for the name and the name Despair's Counterattack, it's a take on not only 
uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Char's counterattack, but also like that miracle part is there was a certain segment of shows in the early 90s, mm -hmm. and that's a callback to those. That's why I kept calling it like Miracle Baku Hots, because it's just like, that. it was that type of naming convention. So I was thinking that it could kind of be referential to those. But what I did want was for it to bridge the gap between the concept of Danganronpa V3 and the world of Danganronpa outside of that, which is to say one, two, Ultra Despair Girls, and three, the anime. Yep. Of course, it's not even, not a half-baked idea yet. It's not a quarter-baked idea yet. We're still preheating the oven, you understand. Uh, yeah, and, that, and that's a cold, cold oven, but I've got some <laughs> interesting, but I've got the beginnings of a concept. What I was thinking was, and this is the only part of it that I'll really say as part of the, the idea, the main character would be a completely normal person mm -hmm. from the world described in Danganronpa V3. Now, we're talking about Danganronpa 9, so that's one of the first ten. So it's not in the Hope's Peak Academy art. Right. All right, but it is still anime, not ultimate real fiction. Right, right, right. Okay? So she is someone who enjoys Danganronpa. The currently airing show, or rather the one that just started, is Miracle Danganronpa 9 Despair's Counterattack. Just before the ninth edition or season or whatever you want to call it starts, she is, for whatever reason, I mean, there is a reason, but I'm not going into it right now, and I don't have the details set in stone, nor, and furthermore, if I make this, I don't want it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want to spoil something like that. But she is whisked to the actual world of Danganronpa. It's like I was saying before. It's like, if they're different continuities, then let's... Make some different continuities. Let's reconcile the difference between the continuities. Mm -hmm. So she actually appears in it. However, in the context of the killing game, there's a 17th student, her. Mm -hmm. She's not supposed to be there. She's not an ultimate. It's decided that she'll participate. But then, as her tumultuous first day ends, she wakes up in the world of V3 and gets to watch the first episode of Miracle Danganronpa 9 Despair's Counterattack and she's not in it, and a few of the characters are different, and things that occur don't, like things that happen to her, don't happen in the show. For whatever reason, this character is whisked back and forth <laughs> between the two worlds. She uses the information she gains by watching the show <laughs> to try to affect the situation in the world that she occasionally appears in, <laughs> but things don't always go the same way or as planned. That is the basis for the idea. And then I do kind of have a bit of a reason and, and something of the ending. Uh, if anybody has any comments or any ideas or anything, let her rip. And if you would seriously like to help with it, even if it's just brainstorming. Come on down to the Discord. Yeah, come to the Discord. Definitely going to be trying to talk to some people. Now, again, I, I can't I can't promise that we're going <laughs> to go through with it. But again, if there is a response, yeah. I, we might go with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this version of it would have a slightly different Monokuma and would have some... Char's counterattack and 90s anime references. Yeah, yeah. The setting, it, see, it's, they're still going to be ultimate students and they're, they're going to be in a killing game. Um, I haven't decided exactly what to do about Junko. Right, right. We know that Hope's Peak Academy doesn't exist because that story arc was concluded. But as Junko Inoshima said, Junko has been the mastermind in quote-unquote every Danganronpa, right? Uh -huh. So this time, Junko, that Junko, is going to be one of the students. Ah. So the player is going to be like, she's the mastermind. Will she be the mastermind? I don't know. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't say right here, <laughs> but that's going to be one of the enduring mysteries. I figure by changing the setting and circumstances and rules of the killing game, while still preserving ultimate students and having Junko and Oshima, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
uh, as well as allowing for the fact that the main character seems to simultaneously exist in the real world and the real Danganronpa world. Mm -hmm. That would that would even be something that, like, say, a Danganronpa fan might actually want to, uh, might like feel for, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm sure that there are plenty of people who who really liked this game, but felt betrayed by the plot twist. And so, part of my idea is to maybe say, see, it's not so bad after all. If you just look at it like this, you're not wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. As for the students and their ultimate talents. Haven't worked that out yet. I have three, no, four characters in particular that I definitely do want. Uh, one of them is going to be at least one, if not more than one, but probably just one, is going to be an elementary school student, because that also changes it up. I would like one person to be blatantly from a magical girl show. <laughs> but as for anything else, including a lot of the thrust of the plot, character ideas, uh, anything, if anybody has is actually interested and has comments, I would love to hear it. And if you want to talk in more detail, then... Um, head, on, head on down to the Discord. Yeah, head down to the Discord, and we can actually even set something up, and I will absolutely talk to anybody who'd like to contribute in some way. And like I said, if, it, if people like the idea, or a few people like the idea, then maybe I'll persist in really writing it and trying to get some art. I'm not really sure about the status of Danganronpa fan games. I mean, I'm sure there's some, but are any of them done? Anyway, the point is to do something new, which is even something that it kind of came up in the context of this. It can't be just the same thing. I was thinking that it could actually be at a military academy, but that's not set in stone. <laughs> and yes, it is going to be science fiction. That with... does remind me, Damon. Remember how you said everything looked like it just had form without function in science fiction? It's because it was all set. Well, it's a crummy set, man. I, yeah, I know, but that explains it, because it was all a big TV set. That's why none well, of it made sense. That's not, It's a bad set. <laughs> they should have made it a good set. Clearly, the real world has piloted robots <laughs> and the ability to make an android <laughs> and give him, like, serious fighting power so they can make something better than funny boxes with glowing lines. <laughs> anyway, uh, like I said, we're going to take a break. Week. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think it'll be more than a week. I'm, I'm almost positive it'll be a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we'll keep going. Okay, cool. Thanks, everyone. If you're still here. Yeah, considering we've been babbling, I'm going to save, like, the real tearful thankfulness for later because we're... We've got, at a bare minimum, like, 12 more episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll do that then. Okay. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much.